Well, we need to prepare ourselves once again for a few showers around the area this evening, and that'll be the story again tomorrow. And then we've got some rather significant change. Meantime, as far as the evening hours go, the showers will be coming at us from the south around the same swirling low pressure that's been with us for about 10 days now. It refuses to let go of the Great Lakes, and it'll rotate in a few showers by about 11 o'clock tonight. Showers will be starting to wind down, so if they interrupt evening plans, probably just for a while, then they'll lift off to the north and kind of quiet down. As we move into the wee small hours of the morning, just a lot of clouds. An isolated spotty light shower can't be ruled out. That's the same story for the morning rush. I think for the most part, the morning rush hour is just cloudy, a little patchy fog, no big travel problems. It'll be later in the day on Thursday before the rain moves back into the picture. So this evening, out and about, a lot of clouds around, a few passing showers, as I mentioned, a few with some decent downpours, most of them fairly light. Temps in the low 60s with a southerly wind at 5 to 10. Then during the rest of the overnight, mostly cloudy, nothing more than a light, spotty, brief shower. Low about 53 with a southerly wind. And then during the day on Thursday, kind of the same song and dance, mostly cloudy, afternoon showers, 68. But that's the last day we get up close to average for highs for a while because then the low finally starts to move away. The cold air will be pouring in, and it means business. Look at the seven-day forecast. 54 for the high on Friday. And that's going to be a struggle. It may just be in the morning hours. 60% chance of rain. We could get a real soaking Thursday night into Friday morning, and then it starts to dry out and get cold. By Saturday morning, it's 40 and windy and breezy with a mix of sun and clouds, 54 on Saturday. Then most all of us are in the 30s on Sunday morning. That's what I said, in the 30s Sunday morning. Even with a lot of sunshine, our back half of the weekend high struggles to hit 61. We moderate nicely on Monday, and we're actually above average as we push into Tuesday and Wednesday. But in the meantime, we have some showers and some cool air to get through. Thanks for clicking on WXYZ.com.